Hi there, and um, welcome to this video about using flowcharts to show work with variables. Now, I'm using uh, an editor here called YED, which is free, free to download and use. And the reason I use that is because it has uh, this nice little sort of set of flowchart symbols here. Uh, and also, as obviously, because it's free, so it sort of uh, makes sense. So, when you first open uh, wired it tends to look like this with this shape nodes thing open okay and flow charts will be closed we've got these palettes over here with different sort of things in and I just tend to effectively just close that shape nodes thing and open up the flow chart symbols palette if you will so First off though when I first want to create a flow chart I'm going to use some terminal symbols they're called terminators on on here but if I put this on here now what I'd like to be able to do is to uh, like drop it on there and effectively just type in what the label is but I have to either double click or on some of these uh, things here if I do that it doesn't actually allow me to do that I'd have to come down to here and sort of edit or press F2 and it all gets a bit bit rubbish so we can change the preferences in the editor to help us out a little bit so I'm going to go to file preferences and go to editor and what I'd like to do is to say that I'd like to edit the label on the create, create the node so as I drag a symbol on there it just automatically asks me to edit the label immediately but I'd also like to uh, make sure that I've got that I don't dynamically adjust the node size to the label size so I don't have labels that are bigger than the actual nodes themselves so as long as I'm careful with the mode node size or with my label size then hopefully that won't be too too big but we just need to sort of keep an eye on it so apply and okay so now when I drag and drop my symbol on there it's already got my cursor there ready to type so I just type in this case and put start okay and already that's slightly annoying just want to sort of make that a bit bigger and do the same down here and this will be stop don't want it looking like a circle these do need to be rounded rectangles so I'll put that on there let's just drag it see if we center it up we've noticed when you start to center it you get the lines that show you where the different sort of points are so there we go so we've got a start and stop now then when we declare a variable we're going to use a process symbol so I'm going to put my process symbol in here okay and I need to declare it so we're going to use declare as a keyword Oop, I can spell it okay so declare now my program that I'm going to do is to take uh, the age from a user and it's going to tell them how old they'll be in a year's time so we've got declare and I'm going to put um, let's say current age yeah. and I'm going to have uh, new age or oh, let's say next age okay now I also want to say what type of variable we are so let's say I'm going to call that uh, number okay and what I'm going to do then is press shift and enter to put that onto the next line like so okay so declare and it's a number variable and I've got net current age and next age so there's my two variables declared now I also need to now add the arrow if you like the flow flow arrow between the symbols so I just click oh, let's just be careful what I'm doing there let's delete that so I'll just click on the symbol I want to create an arrow from and drag it onto the symbol I'd like to get to so next up so I've, I've got my my variables are now declared and what I need to do is to get some uh, input from the user okay so I'm going to in my flowchart here I'm going to use the data thing here or what I would call input output it's like a, a parallelogram okay and we're going to sort of get the user to input something so we're going to say uh, input 
and we say what we want them to input. So as an example, uh, uh, please enter your age. Okay. And then what we need to do is to say, well, we're assuming this is an input, so we need to say which variable it's going to go in. So I'm going to do a comma. In fact, actually, I'm just going to put uh, down here and then a comma and then the actual variable we want to put it into. Now we've got two variables there, so we would like it to go into the current age. Okay. And in this case, I'm going to make that slightly wider. Okay. So input, please enter your age, and then we've put it into current age. Now there's no strict rules as to exactly how you put these things in, but as I say, I tend to use a keyword as to what I'm trying to do, and then I sort of put in the detail and the variables in, say in this case, after a comma. So I need an another flow arrow to show the sequence between the two things there. Oop, that's just gone slightly off. Let's just put, put that right. Let's get rid of that one. Okay. So please enter your age. Okay. Yeah, I will say it can be a bit tricky this uh, thing in terms of making sure you're not clicking on things. If you want to move things, you need to click them first and then click and drag. If you start just clicking and moving, it makes all sorts of different things go on. Right. So next up, we need to do a little calculation. So we've got current age, and we need to add one to it. So that's a process symbol. So we're going to drag a process symbol on there. OK. And we want to say, well, we want to add one to current age, and we need to put that into next age. So we're going to say next age yeah, is equal to current age plus one. OK. So that's basically creating or you know, adding one onto current age and putting it into next age and then we need to display that. So we're just going to drag our flowchart symbol on there. Let's just move that again. Okay, and then finally we need to display this to the user. So where we've got input, okay, we could have output or display, but again it's the same sort of symbol. Okay, so input and output is the same sort of parallelogram symbol. So I'm going to put on here display. Okay, and I'm going to say your age next year will be. Okay, and then we're saying. Shift and enter, and I'm going to do plus to show that it's sort of concatenating there to add it to that string. So your age next year will be, and we're going to say uh, next age. Okay. And again, going to make that a little bit bigger. And then finally, we've got our two arrows. Keep doing that. Let's just undo. Okay, so we've got our flowchart there. Now the key things to, to point out are what we've used here. We've used three different sort of types of symbols. We've used terminal symbols, which represent the start and the end of a program or a process or function. Well, not a process, procedure or function. We've got process symbols where we can do things like declaring variables. Okay, and we use keywords, etc., and then sort of say what the variables are, separating them by commas. And then we've got input and output, or input and display. So this is where we're we're dealing with the user in some way. We're either getting the user to enter some data, or we are displaying some data to the user. And for those, we use our parallelograms. The other thing we used the process for in here was doing a calculation. Okay, so we've got processes for if you like the program doing something 
and we've got input and output which is where we get the user to have some sort of interaction perhaps with the program so we're displaying input and output where we're getting data or we're displaying data and then obviously as I say we've got the arrows between them so hopefully that's a sort of fairly easy introduction into using uh, Wired as an editor for creating flowcharts and looking at how all the different symbols we can use when we're working with variables. Cheers.